Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, It really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today. Call 844-236-6010. That's our number, 844-236-6010. If you have any health questions, nutrition questions, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the Bright Side, every day on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you at 844-236. 6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We've got blog posts, news stories, videos, as well as all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866 735 2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a great way to earn a supplemental income. It's a great way to earn a primary income. There's some folks making some significant money by helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you have enjoyed the benefits or your loved ones, your family have enjoyed the benefits of a good nutritional supplement program, help, help spread the word. Don't keep it to yourself. You can earn, a, earn some money while you're doing it and help change lives at the same time. All for a one-time $25 fee. If you don't want to be in business, you can, for a one-time $25 fee, you can get your products at the wholesale price. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business as well. Call 866-735-2470 for more information. That's 866-735-2470. You can also sign up directly off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel made with 5% retinol. You're not going to see that anywhere, folks. Just on our website, truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel made with 25% fat-soluble vitamin C as well as no filler, wax, emulsifier, water, silicon, oil, nothing your skin, fragrance, preservatives, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm and our Truth Transdermal Sea Serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by none other than Harper's Bazaar Magazine. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're continuing on with our discussion on the number one killer in this country and around the world. Many millions of people around the world die of heart disease. Many more millions suffer from heart disease, and millions of Americans are drugged every day with calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, digoxin, angina drugs, diuretics, ACE inhibitors. It's unbelievable the amount of medicalization that occurs for a disease that isn't being handled at all by the medical model. Of course, if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you know you don't need the medical model. In fact, the medical model can only muck things up when it comes to taking care of the heart or any other system in the body. We've got to get this through our heads, folks. 
the doctor cannot help us with long-term chronic degenerative diseases. I know most people think, well, I'm just going to go to the doctor if my blood pressure is off. I'm just going to go to the doctor if I'm having chest pain. I'm just going to go to the doctor if I want to get better. Folks, you can't get better by going to a doctor. Yes, I understand. There are times you need to be, uh, we need to have some medical intervention, of course. Particularly if we've let our body go for decades, which many of us have or if you have some kind of emergency. I understand the need for medicalization or, or for medical intervention, but medicalizing what e our lifestyle issues can never get us better, but that doesn't matter because there are non-medical lifestyle strategies that we can use to improve cardiovascular health and to improve overall health, just to reverse any health challenge. And this is my position and has been my position since I started in pharmacy, since I observed that all chronic long-term degenerative diseases, and I've observed this with my own eyes, all chronic degenerative long-term diseases, that is diseases that do not get better, that is 80% of our health challenges, 80% of our health costs in this country, probably around the world, all of them are reversible. But we need to take care of it, our, our business ourselves. We need to do things ourselves. And as we said yesterday, no surprise, a lot of these strategies, most of these strategies involve food, which is a powerful, powerful leverage point for taking care of our health that's in our control. Our eating behavior is in our control. I'm not saying this as a foodie. I'm not a foodie. I'm saying this as a therapist. I'm saying this as somebody who wants to help people get healthy. If we are sick, or if we're healthy, we don't want to be sick. How we eat represents a major PowerPoint, a major leverage point, a major point for us to exploit to restore ourselves back to health or to maintain our health. It's not Obamacare. It's not the Affordable Health Care Act. And I know and I believe that there is a need for catastrophic health insurance. If you get hit by a car, if something dramatic happens, if you have an accident, but for long-term chronic health, it's not a question of insurance. It's not a question of getting a checkup. It's not a question of anything that the doctor can do for us. If we're sick or if we're healthy and we don't want to be sick, we have many, many leverage points, including and especially how we eat. There's nothing in medicine that can do anything to improve our heart health. And that includes statin drugs, and that includes beta blockers, and that includes diuretics and ACE inhibitors and all the other pharmaceutical nonsense and predatory propaganda that you see on TV every hour of every day or that you hear about from your doctor. On the other hand, how we eat represents a powerful control point that can change our health status pretty darn quickly, sometimes within days, depending on how uh, bad off we are. We've talked about calorie restriction, powerful strategy. Intermittent fasting, powerful strategy. Eating less sugar, eating less processed food, powerful, powerful, powerful strategies. And I know it's difficult uh, to avoid processed foods. I know it's difficult to avoid sugar. It's everywhere. This is why eating less is so powerful. This is why uh, calorie restriction can be such an important strategy because it is hard to avoid processed foods. It is hard to avoid sugary foods. That's why simply eating less can be so powerful. Eating good fat, saturated fat, butter, coconut oil, the fats that are found in fish and organ meats. We talked about the cholesterol complex, which contains vitamin E and vitamin A and vitamin D and lecithin. All of these are found in organ meats, particularly liver. If you're going to go liver, though, you want to go organic. Always go organic if you're going to do liver because the liver processes all the poisons that the animal is exposed to. Animals are exposed to toxicity like we are, and it's the liver that is processing those toxins. So if you're going to do liver, make absolutely positively sure you're going, uh, you're very choosy and picky about the kind of liver you use, organic liver. The, the Mediterranean diet can work too. There's some interesting chemistry, as we've said, that takes place between essential fatty acid rich oils, particularly olive oil, or, or I should say monounsaturated oils like olive oil, and the nitrogen that's in veggies. And this reaction between the oil and the nitrogen creates some very cardiovascular friendly compounds. Avoid burnt fats. Always, always, always stay away from fried fats. That's a huge problem, fried fats. There's something interesting about fats and there's something interesting about fried fats. We crave that stuff. Fats are super duper high energy. Fried fats are super duper high energy, especially when they're combined with sugar. And they're really pretty darn hard to, uh, hard to resist if we're not getting enough fat. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 
Office is Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you, and we will get your calls here in our next segment. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, if you're dealing with heart, heart health challenges or you know somebody who's dealing with heart health challenges, it could be, man... I, I, cannot, I can't even begin to imagine the terror that must go through somebody's mind when they're having a heart attack or something's going on in their heart or their chest pain. It's just, a, it's got to be so terrible, so scary. And the most tragic thing of all is, for the most part, it's unnecessary. Simply by making a few lifestyle changes, making sure you're supplementing, exercising. There's so many little things we could do, we could do to improve our heart health, to improve... Uh, the health of our entire body. That is the theme of this program, folks, is that there is so there are so many things that we can do from the comfort of our own living rooms, from the comfort of our own kitchens. There are so many things we could do simply by tweaking our lifestyle a little bit, not even a lot, just a little bit to avoid having to deal with uh, the medical model, to avoid the terror that's associated, the, the fear that's associated with any any kind of health challenge. 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. You can also check out our web pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We also have archives up at uh, benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up, as well as brightsideben.com. We've got uh, going on six, uh, probably six plus years of free information, great information, information that you're not going to hear on any other health program, on any other radio program. The ideas that we talk about here on the Bright Side every day are ideas that I've come up with, that I've noticed through my own personal experience as a researcher, through my own personal experience as a therapist, through my own personal experience as a formulator, working in the laboratory, working with patients. These are my personal experiences based on my research as well as my personal observations that you're not going to hear on any other program, on any other health program. We talk about these ideas every day on the Bright Side, and we have them archived at brightsideben.com and Ben Fuchs Archives by search engine. If you miss a program or want to review a program, you can go to the search engine and just punch in, uh, punch in cardiovascular health or punch in heart health or punch in vitamin C or anything, anything else that you want to know about. It's a free service, and it's at brightsideben.com. Uh, I'm sorry, brightsideben.com as well as benfuchsarchives.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side. We're talking about things that we can do from the comfort of our own homes to deal with, uh, to deal, uh, to deal with or to prevent cardiovascular health challenges. It's not a medical issue, but it is a lifestyle issue. Largely involves the foods that we eat, calorie restriction, or the foods that we don't eat, calorie restriction, intermittent fasting, eating less food, eating less sugar, eating less processed food, eating more good fat, quality fat from butter, from coconut oil, from good, uh, from uh, uh, pure organ meats, that is organic organ meats, fish liver, avocados, although avocados don't have a lot of essential fatty acid rich oil. And by the way, omega-6 fats are just as important as omega-3 fats. There are some nutritionists, well-meaning, if if misguided nutritionists who will tell you not to worry about your omega-3-6 fats because you get plenty of omega-6 fats, not true. You don't get plenty of omega-6 fats, even though we do get plenty of oils that contain or should contain omega-6 fats because of processing and heating and cooking. We don't get as much of the, uh, we don't get the omega-6s that we need, so you need to supplement with your omega-6, omega-3 blends like the essential fatty, the uh, ultimate EFA from Longevity and ultimate EFA plus. What you do want to avoid is cooked fats and burnt fats, especially deep fried fats. There is no health reason, nothing. There's no reason at all to eat a, a deep fried fat of any kind, all, as tasty as it might be, especially when they're combined, when deep fried fats are combined with sugar. And by sugar, I'm not just talking about straight sugar, but also I'm talking about flour. The combination of flour, which is basically sugar, and deep fried fat is almost impossible to resist. The fat amplifies the, the flavor of the sugar. The combination of the fat and the sugar is extremely high energy, and our brains crave high energy. For millions of years, hundreds of thousands and millions of years of evolution, we have a brain that is designed to crave high energy compounds. Food manufacturers know this, and they will hit this craving button, this high energy craving button, every time to sell a food. They don't care about the, our health. Nobody cares about our health but us. And food manufacturers certainly don't care about our health. And this is why we have this 
epidemic of deep fried Twinkies and deep fried Snickers bars. No kidding, deep fried Snickers bars. My, that's, for, that's a real thing, deep fried Snickers bars. Google it. Deep fried potatoes, deep fried turkey. Anything that's, uh, anything that's deep fried, in uh, any flour or sugar combination that's deep fried in oil is going to be a very, very hard food to resist. How can you resist it? Load up on fat especially coconut, or good fat that is, coconut oil and butter. When you load up on enough fat, you're not going to want any more fat. The best way to, to uh, redirect your cravings for fat, or eliminate your cravings for fat, I should say, is to eat good fat. The more good fat you eat, the less fat you're going to want. Do a spoonful of coconut oil every morning. Do butter every day. You can use butter nutritionally. Butter is a great source of selenium and iodine and vitamin K and, and uh, uh, medium or short chain fats that are super important for the digestive tract. Eggs are another great source of good fat. Don't overcook your eggs. The same kind of heating, uh, the same kind of reaction that occurs when you heat uh, uh, fats in a uh, deep fryer, for example, or anywhere, will occur when you scramble your eggs. So don't overcook your eggs. Cholesterol is not a problem in the eggs, but cooked cholesterol or heated cholesterol can be a problem. So use soft boiled eggs, poached eggs, raw eggs. Raw eggs every day. Crack a raw egg in your smoothie. Not only is it super good for you, not only is it like a, a, an amazingly powerful nutritional, it's like an explosion of nutrition in your, in your smoothie and in your body, but it also tastes good. It also makes your smoothie taste better. It's creamy. It has a creaming effect. Eggs are emulsifiers. They bring the oil and water together in your smoothie. And it'll make it more, uh, nice and creamy, and it also has a nice vanilla flavor. Generate ketones. Ketones, 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 ketones. I cannot possibly express how fundamentally, powerfully important ketones are in the ketogenic diet is. Generate ketones. Go ketogenic. Use MCT oils from coconut. Coconut oil contains these things called medium chain triglycerides, MCTs, which are powerfully ketogenic. Calorie restriction generates ketones. Intermittent fasting generates ketones. Stop eating. If you stop eating at 4 p.m., say, and don't eat again till 11 a.m. the next day, between 4 p.m. and 11 a.m., your body is in a starvation mode and it will help generate ketones. Try to eat only for four hours in the, a day. So try to eat between 11 a.m. or five hours, between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you can keep your eating behavior, uh, eating activity down to 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., you'll never be hungry, and you'll have that period between 4 p.m. and 11 a.m., which is a good uh, 12, uh, what, 17 hours. Is that 17 hours? More than that, 12, uh, 12 and, and 7. It's almost 19 hours. Let me do the math here. Whatever. It's a lot of hours. A lot of hours when you're not eating, fasting. You're in effect fasting every day if you only eat between 11 and 4. That's 5 hours a day. If you only eat between 11 and 4, that's 19 hours of fasting. Use probiotics. Everybody should be on the nightly essence. Everybody. Whether you're healthy or whether you're sick or whether you're not. And by the way, probiotics have a very powerful effect on what we call polyphenols. We started this whole discussion about cardiovascular health talking about these polyphenols, phytonutrients, plant nutrients, really found in very trace amounts in fruits and vegetables. It turns out probiotics can activate those polyphenols. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Ten is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or comments or success stories you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in just a moment, and we do have lines open for you. Before we went to break, we are talking about polyphenols, and um, we started off this whole discussion on cardiovascular health by talking about polyphenols, and I haven't forgotten because we are going to be talking more about polyphenols phenols or phenolic acids. These are substances that are found throughout nature, especially in uh, the vegetable kingdom, particularly in spices. Polyphenols have a fat stabilizing effect. Polyphenols have a 
from a chemistry perspective, they have an ability to attract and hold energy from the sun. One of the problems with fats, with burnt fats, is their, uh, their energy has been destabilized by heat. This is what makes them, from an from a energetic perspective, this is what makes them so problematic. They're, it's, it's unstable energy. Unstable energy uh, can be problematic because energy that's unstable is always looking to ground itself. And unfortunately, it's going to ground itself. If we ingest it, it'll ground itself in, in our energy, particularly in our cellular energy and especially in our DNA. And this grounding effect, this, uh, uh, this kind of de uh, re-stabilizing effect is really where uh, burnt fats become problematic. So fats are high energy, you heat them, that energy becomes destabilized. When we ingest it, the destabilized fat will look to stabilize itself and it will find places in our body where there's lots of energy, particularly our cells and DNA, and it will use that energy to re-stabilize itself. Polyphenols that are found in spices and in certain vegetables, particularly in onions and uh, uh, garlic, also in uh, avocados, uh, pretty much all vegetables actually will have these polyphenols. These polyphenols have extra energy. They hold energy from the sun and they can re-stabilize or protect the destabilization of fat. So by mixing spices with your eggs, for example, you can help protect yourself from some of the uh, toxic effect of the burnt fats. So if you're going to scramble your eggs, scramble them with garlic, scramble them with onion. Anytime you mix polyphenols with fats, you will have a stabilization effect. And that's one of the great benefits of these polyphenols. Polyphenols are found throughout nature. Uh, chocolate, by the way, is one, uh, one of the best sources of polyphenols, and that's what makes chocolate, or I should say cocoa, not really chocolate. Uh, cocoa is such a, a medicinal food. It's polyphenol rich. Reading from, uh, reading from the journal Frontiers in Nutrition, Italian researchers uh, examined the literature on the effects of chronic administration of cocoa flavonoids for cognitive health. Turns out that cocoa actually can be good for your brain. The brain is one of the main targets of destruction or of grounding by destabilized fats, and destabilized fats can have a really negative effect on folks who are dealing with dementia or Alzheimer's disease or, or any kind of cognitive health problems. It turns out by eating cocoa powder, polyphenol-rich cocoa powder, you can mitigate some of the toxic of effects of fats on the brain. By the way, sugar also manifests this grounding effect. Sugar is also high energy, and when we ingest sugar, sugar will look to ground itself in various parts of the body, particularly proteins. That's called glycation. That glycation that we always talk about or uh, advanced glycated end products are the result of sugar attempting to ground itself, to stabilize itself, the energy in sugar to stabilize itself in various proteins of the body. And again, polyphenols can help stabilize and protect the body from some of the high energy or destabilized energy effects of, of, um, of sugar, sugar and fats. So using your flavonoids, you can use flavonoids, or I should say polyphenols. Flavonoids are a type of polyphenol. Using your polyphenols from vegetables, from vegetable juices, you can actually get polyphenol supplements. Juice powders are polyphenol rich. So if you don't want to go out and, and eat a bunch of vegetables, do, do, do these green powder drinks. Those are very polyphenol rich. Or vegetable powder drinks, very polyphenol rich. All right, tomorrow we'll continue talking about digestive health strategies for heart health. We'll talk about some supplements that you could use for heart health. And then we'll talk about the cellular nature of heart health. It's not about the heart. It's about the heart cells. And that's really, that's really one of the major problems when it comes to how we treat a disease in this country is we don't focus on the cell. We focus on the organ and the structure. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking cardiovascular health on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Ken, who has been holding on for half an hour. Good morning, Ken. Ken in Boston. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. I What's got going on? Uh, Francis on the phone. He's in Ottawa, Canada. Hey, Francis. He had two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Ken. I I'm having a hard time hearing Francis, but what's oh, going yeah, on, Ken? Oh, yes. We got some interference, I think. But Francis had two uh, heart uh, surgeries this past year. He had a oh, no. A uh, pacemaker and a valve replacement. Okay. And he's Sorry got to hear that. Blood pressure issues right now, things like that. And you'd like to talk uh, he, about. Mean, hang on, Ken. Ken, hang on. I'm sorry. You're saying he has blood yeah. pressure issues post surgery after the surgical procedure? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's the here's probably what's going on. Okay. 
when you have a surgical procedure, the body doesn't know it's a surgical procedure. The body thinks you've been eaten by a lion. This is a major distress okay. on the bo- this is a major stress on the body. Stress hormone will go okay. through the roof after a surgical procedure, and it's not unusual for your blood to become thicker after a surgical procedure. It's not unusual for blood pressure to go up after a surgical procedure. Okay. So. So what you want to do is you want to learn to relax the body, and there's several ways to do it. And we'll tell you about some nutritional ways that you can not necessarily relax the body, but you can restore the body's sense of safety through certain supplements and also dietary strategies. But right off the bat, you absolutely positively have to start practicing slow, deep, rhythmic breathing techniques. I'm just going to call it bend breathing from now on because I always say slow, deep, rhythmic. I get tired of saying slow, deep, rhythmic. All three of those uh, facets are important, slowly, deeply, and rhythmically. That's called bend breathing. From now on, I'm going to call it bend breathing. Okay? You want to bend breathe okay. slowly, deeply, and rhythmically. Just doing that alone will drop your blood pressure. Just doing that alone will reduce the load on your heart. If you're dealing with angina or you're dealing with arrhythmias, ventricu- ventricular tachycardia, VT, or, or PVTs, they call them, or, or uh, atrial fibrillation, AF, uh, any kind of mitral valve issues, any kind of heart issues or, or circulatory issues, bend breathing, i.e. slow, deep breathing, can be a, a godsend. Twice a day, three times a day, five minutes a day, it will relax the body, it will relax your muscles, it will activate your healing system. So for for a, a post heart surgery, it will stimulate healing. Do it today. Do it as soon as you get off the phone. And by slowly, I'm talking maybe seven seconds in, 10 seconds out. You always want to breathe out more than you breathe in. The relaxation actually takes place okay. on the exhale, not on the inhale. So you want to breathe uh, okay. out about 10 seconds, in seven seconds, deeply to the bottom of your diaphragm. You know, when you, when you breathe all the way into your belly and your diaphragm is activated, your diaphragm actually acts like a second heart. The diaphragm itself okay. is loaded with blood, and it can actually support uh, heart. It can support the motion or the, the pumping action of the heart, and it will reduce the load on the heart. So, by slow, deep breathing, okay. not only are you relaxing the body, but you're actually activating the diaphragm to take some of that uh, to take some of the load off the heart. Right now, your heart is under major duress, major stress. So, slow, deep, okay. and rhythmic. The body loves rhythm. Make sure you're in a rhythm when you're doing your breathing. Get an app called My Calm. Beat, or you can also get another app called Bio Breathing on your smartphone, and both of these apps will facilitate the rhythm of the breathing. Hang on, Ken, we got to take a break. Ken and Francis, uh, we got to take a break. I'm going to get you some supplements that you can use for your heart and some dietary strategies as well. So hang on. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 236 6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Right side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Ken in Boston. Uh, Ken, you there? And Francis in Canada as well. You guys there? Yes, we're here. Okay, so slow, deep breathing, number one. I'm going to go a little bit fast here. You can go back to the archives to review, if you like, benfuchsarchives.com or uh, brightsideben.com. Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit fast. I want to, I want to get to a bunch of calls here. Uh, so slow, deep breathing, number one. Calorie restriction, number two. Make sure you're eating only, only, only when you absolutely must eat. And then stop eating when you don't feel like eating. It, it, food is a major, major stress on the circulatory system. I should say how we eat food okay. is a major stress on the circulatory system. You will feel better when you eat less. Make sure you're uh, getting a little bit of exercise, both aerobic and resistance. They're both important. Do a little bit of weight training. You don't have to do a lot, just a little bit. You can, If you don't want to go to the gym, just you know, put a bunch of books in the suitcase and lift them up, do curls with them, or you can bench press with it, or you don't have to do a whole gym regimen, but something that puts a stress on the muscles, on the uh, musculoskeletal system. Some kind of resistance training, and then also aerobic training. You could just jog in your house. You don't have to go out. You know, you can just jog around the living room if you want. There's all kinds of ways that you can put an aerobic stress and a resistance stress on the body, uh, but it's very okay. important for the circulatory system. Then there's wonderful supplements. I mean, wonderful ones. I encourage you to listen to the bright side 
for the next few days because we're going to be talking about them. But just to cut to the, give you some ideas to cut to the chase, coenzyme Q10, get it today. 100 to 200 milligrams of ubiquinol. I like that form better. It's a little more expensive, but it's a little bit better. Uh, 100 to 200 mm -hmm. milligrams a day. Make sure you're doing about a gram, at least a gram or so of magnesium a day. You can get that in the Osteomag from Longevity. If you want to simplify things, get the uh, healthy brain and healthy brain and heart pack. Of I believe it's called, from longevity. Uh, but uh, just to give you some individual supplements, magnesium, calcium is also important for the heart, selenium, you'll get that in the ultimate selenium from longevity, maybe 600 micrograms of selenium a day. Make sure you're doing your ultimate EFAs, 9 to 12 capsules of the ultimate EFAs a day. I would be doing the glucogel caps, glucosamine, which we all know about for the joints, is very important um, uh, for the joints, of course, but it's also very important for the heart and the circulatory system. Don't forget your vitamin C. It's unbelievably important for the heart. If you had to pick one, I'd, I, I hate to pick one mm -hmm. supplement, but if I had to, I would say vitamin C, a gram to two grams, even up to five grams a day. Do it in divided doses because uh, vitamin C can, uh, can rag on your belly a little bit and your intestine, cause some bloating if you do too much of it all at once. 400 to 800 international units of vitamin E a day. Probably the toco trienol form is best, T-O-C-O-T-R-I-E-N-O-L-S. Uh, tocotrienols. Uh, also the amino acid taurine, the amino acid arginine, maybe a gram to two grams of arginine a day, maybe a gram of taurine a day. There's tons more, but that's a great place for you to start. Ken and Francis, God bless you both. I've got to move on. Uh, please keep listening to The Bright Side over the next few days. We're going to be talking a lot more about things that you can do. Yeah, I had a question on the, on the carbohydrates. You couldn't mention something about the carbohydrates. I'm sorry, say that again? You said something about the carbohydrates. Uh, yeah, you want to keep your, I didn't say anything about that, but you want to keep your carbohydrate load down to a minimum. Keep it restricted to vegetables and vegetable juices. Is, uh, real vegetable juices with the fiber uh, is, can be very, very helpful for you. Get a Vitamix, do vegetable juices every single day. Mix them up. Uh, try to stay away from making it too sweet, but do it every day, twice a day. It's a must for everybody, but especially if you're dealing with heart health issues. Thanks for your call, Ken and Francis. God bless you both. I hope I helped you out. Let's go to uh, let's go to Ernest in Texas. Good morning, Ernest. Welcome to the bright side. Hey Ben, how you doing? I'm doing well. What's going on, bro? Hey, so uh, the last time I had called, I spoke with you about my son and the seizures that he, he had had. Okay. And uh, you had asked if he had any digestive issues, and I had said no. And he does have some that I was unaware of at the time. S surprise, so, surprise. Yeah. So basically, what's happening is. He's going between two to four days without having a bowel movement. Well, that so, is not a good thing. No, not no, at all. Let me, so I've been giving him oxy powder, and it's been helping, but I wanted okay. to see if there's something you could That's recommend. Two then, yes, two things, I'll, uh, four things I'll recommend for you, okay? Number one, grind up flax seeds every day, teaspoon or two teaspoons of flax seeds. Um, stir them in with, uh, mix them in with a little bit of water. Throw in some, maybe some cinnamon and some stevia. It'll taste really delicious for him. It'll help him with his bowels. But you want to start off slow. You don't want to do it too, too fast, okay? Make sure he's okay. on a, the best probiotic supplement you could find. I like the Nightly Essence. Um, there's also another one called VSL3, which is good. But I like the Nightly Essence. Start him off with that and see how he does with that. If he'll eat fermented foods, that will also help. Vegetable juices, you may not like vegetable juices, but just mix a little carrot or a little beet in there to make it sweet. That can also help him. And then uh, magnesium and vitamin C both will have a laxative effect, but you got to start off slowly because you'll get bloating and discomfort if he uh, goes too fast. Most importantly, however, Ernest, look for foods that are causing the constipation. Uh, starchy foods can be a problem for some people. Uh, br bagels and bread can cause constipation, sometimes rice and potatoes, gluten-containing foods. Look for foods that are causing the constipation, uh, and uh, it's usually going to be something that he's eating a lot of. That can be a significant, significant problem, number one, because of the toxicity. Uh, uh, toxicity can build up when you have constipation, and there's a major relationship between the gut and the brain. And also because if there are foods that are causing constipation, they can also be foods that he's reacting to, and they can initiate seizure disorders as well. A couple quick ideas for you. Keto
ketogenic diet is a, 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 unbelievably valuable for seizure disorders. Also, uh, the amino acid taurine, T-A-U-R-I-N-E, and the amino acid glycine, can both, uh, both of those can be helpful for folks who are dealing with seizure disorders, uh, in addition to the food strategies, um, and also probiotics. Don't forget about those as well. That, that can also help with constipation. You know, a lot of our stools are made up of bacteria. So if we don't have enough bacteria in the gut, that itself can cause constipation. And drinking more water can also be an anti-constipation strategy. Okay, thanks for your call. Ernest, anything else you want to add? Um, I, I did get him a GABA supplement, but it's a chewable, and he, he can't drink any pills. He gets, he just, he's only nine, so he's not able to swallow pills. Okay. But the GABA supplement that I got him was a chewable, and he, he can't chew it because it does have this sort of wafer texture to it, and it's... Uh, it's just very hard for him to chew the whole thing. And mix it in with it, apple. So mix mix it in with a little bit of yogurt or applesauce, or maybe okay. applesauce and yogurt. And you can you can sneak capsules or get capsules to slip down the throat with yogurt or applesauce as well. I'm not big. You know, applesauce has got a lot of sugar in it, so you got to be a little bit careful with that. But a small amount of applesauce or applesauce in yogurt will help the the pill slide down the throat a little bit easier. And with the wafer, if you if uh, he kind of chews it with the applesauce and with the yogurt. That will also help it slip down the throat. Okay. Okay. okay? Awesome. All right. Good deal, man. I hope, we, I, hope okay. I helped you out, Ernest. Thanks so much, man. You Have did. a good day. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's go to Carl the Truth Raider here real quick here. Carl the Truth Raider, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Good morning, Ben. This is part two. And I was discussing about midlife crisis and issues and things that have been going on this particular year that have been particularly rough. And, they're, you know, they're real events that are would, would affect most people anyway. The, the year started off all right. But well, don't then, give me too, much, too many details because we only got about a minute. Tell me how right. I can help you. Well, my, my, first of all, my stepmom was about 99 years old. Uh, was, they had, they had, uh, eventually what happened, she lost her home. She became more like a, what you would consider a ward of the state. And I haven't talked to her on the phone in about a year now. So she's been removed out of my life. And I used to get cards from her all the time. I used to talk with her. And, so are you depressed, and Carl? I've called you about that, and, and she's, she's been put in a home now. Carl, are you feeling blue? Very blue about that, it's, yeah. It sounds but, like it. It sounds like it. Here's the deal. Oh, here's, the, yeah. here's the deal about midlife crisis, because I'm a little older than you, right? And so I, right. I'm, I'm in it, actually, or right. maybe towards the end of it. In the Bible, it says, uh, Jesus says, uh, when I was a child, I talked like a child. I, I thought like a child. When I became a man, I put, the, I put my childhood behind me, right? That's sure. your midlife crisis, Corinthians 13, 11. So, right. you know, that's just how life goes, man. It, it, things change. Cycles change. We, nobody likes death, right. but we all experience little mini deaths when, when we go through different phases in our life. So for, for blue and for depressed, here's my strategy. Focus on somebody else. Join some kind of uh, uh, some kind of association that helps people, some kind of charitable organization, or, or maybe uh, do uh, give dinners out at, at a homeless at a homeless shelter. Somehow help somebody who's be- who's worse off than you are. Help somebody who you are better off than. There's always somebody we're better off than. No matter how bad it is, there's somebody that we're better off than. That's just a great way to that's just a great way to live our life. But particularly if you're, if we're depressed or we're blue, and it's understandable with all the stuff going on. Carl that you would be, focus right. on helping somebody, even if it's a pet. You know how you love your cat, Carl? Yeah. The reason right we love here. our pets, the, yeah. that's why we love our pets so much. Right here. When we love our pets, our, Paris, our, our, uh, our relaxation nervous system is activated. We feel, when we feel safe, or I should say, we feel safe when we help somebody who's more vulnerable or something who's more vulnerable than us. Carl, right. thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. I hope I helped you out. Got to move. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben, please check out my website, truthtreatments.com, for all our true skin health products, and brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com for the longevity products. Have a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.